What's up, guys? The Comp Society here, back in action. Wanna show you guys how to uh, hedge your bets on our roulette. So we're gonna start off with a thousand dollar bankroll, all right? And uh, we're gonna be doing the bond strategy, one unit on uh, rolls uh, two, one unit on roll three, and one unit on red. This approximately gives us 86% coverage. However, um, any numbers that lands on red up here will uh, it's going to cause us to lose money, but it's not going to cause us to lose all of our money. Any numbers that lands on black will cause us to uh, go bust. So we literally have one, two, three, four, five. Five numbers that can uh, make us go broke. So we'll see how we do. Twenty two. All right. Black, you win. Broke even. Place your bets, please. Twenty two black. We got our money back. We're gonna rebet again. That was a nice little hedge. Thirty five black. You broke even. You win. So Place um, bets, there's many ways you can hedge this. You can put uh five dollars. Here you want the uh, margins to be slightly lower as opposed to these units right here. You can put, you know what I'm saying, so you can put five bucks here. And then as you can see, uh, now we got one, two, three. <clears throat> we got one, two, two numbers that, you know, it's going to cause us to lose a bit, but not everything. And uh, if it lands on red, you know, one, two, three, four. The lands on the four red numbers from 1 through 18, we're going to be extremely profitable. Now, the reason for this is because we're at an even, even split, right? There's two blacks here and, uh, you know, two blacks here. However, you can always flip-flop. You feel me? So, you know, if you see, like, the ball favoring 1 through 18, use the laws of averages and you put it, just put a one unit here. However, if it lands on the red, it's going to compound. So we'll give this a shot. We're gonna put five units here. Thirty black, thirty five black. black. See we broke even. You win. Place your bets, please. Well slightly, cause we risked uh eighty bucks and uh we got back seventy five bucks for a slight loss of uh five bucks. So if it lands on the on the numbers black, all right, on this row and this row, we're going to uh, you know, we're gonna lose five bucks, which is not nothing significant. It's just a five dollar net loss. It's a slight hedge. Twenty six. Black twenty six. Black. You win. Place your bets, please. We're on a crazy black uh streak here. We're gonna keep it on. Red seven. seven. There you go. Red. Look at that. One hundred thirty-five dollars. So we started with a thousand dollar bankroll, and uh, right now we're up uh, forty-five dollars. So almost five percent. So that's a very good way of hedging your bet. You just got to make sure that you know you're at a five x uh, margins. So twenty-five here, twenty-five here, twenty-five here, five here. So if you're gonna be playing, you know, ten dollars, it should be ten here, fifty here, fifty here, fifty here. Now remember, if I'm covering 1 through 18, and uh, the ball lands, the ball lands here, we're gonna get more more money back, obviously on red, because we got red cover, putting 25 on red here. We're gonna get back 50 dollars. All right, if it lands on red, right? any on the red numbers after 18. But this strategy is a very good strategy because um, we have a we have a lot of numbers being covered. You feel me? So, you know, it's a nice little hedge. Now, my favorite, one of my favorite strategies, obviously, is you're going to put three units on one through 18, and you're going to put two units on the third dozen. All right? And, uh, three units here, two units here, we got 81% coverage right now 
this section right here can screw us over. So I want to cover four numbers here. All right. Now you can also do street bats, but on a conjuring bat is you know significant in my opinion. I'm gonna be up like twenty bucks because uh, one directed red nineteen. All right, forty five. So. Place your bets, please. We lost a bit, but we ain't lost everything. That's what's important. And that's what's important to, uh... That's why it's important to have a big bankroll when you're gambling. Alright? And if you don't have a thousand dollar bankroll, then you shouldn't be gambling. First and foremost. It doesn't require you to have, like, a, you know, significant bankroll, like a thousand dollars. To be honest, a thousand dollar bankroll is not really a lot of money. You can do this with, like, three hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. Red 34, that's a win. Red, you win. Place All right, your bets, please. 150, so we're up 20 bucks. We're going to repeat again. We're going to average off very good. We can go on a crazy win streak because we have 92% coverage. So 92% chance we're going to make 12. money. Red, there you, you go. Win. We're back at 1,000. We went 2-1, two, two wins, one loss. Let's go. Black 20. Black. I knew that something was going to Gotta love RNGs. You're not going to see anything like this happen on a land-based casino. This strategy works perfect on a land-based casino. Alright, we're 935. Place your bets, please. Alright, on a land-based casino, you, 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 you can easily go on a 21 streak. Black 11. 11. Alright, another Black. win. You win. Place your bets, please. Okay, let's spin again. Black 24. Black. Place your bets, please. All right, that was a straight loss. So we're going to do some damage control. Since that was a straight loss, we're going to uh, increase our bets. And uh, RNG is actually kind of uh, messing ourselves up, but that's the reality of uh, online gambling. All right. We'll go 25, 25. So we see 24 and 11. We'll go 25 and 25. You're gonna straight up go Velocio method. 24. You see? Black. These two Place numbers coming back please. to back. That's never gonna happen in a real life casino. On the land based casino. 12. Look Red. at that. Place Three numbers on the third please. row. We'll spin again. Thirteen. Black. You win. Finally, you win. All right. Well, so we're going to go a little bit more aggressive. We're going to do uh, street bets. All right. We're going to go. We're going to cover. Uh, we're going to go three, six, nine. Nine street bets. We're going to be up three units on one direct hit. The lands. All right, well now we're risking uh, two, two, five. We're not covering three, six, nine. We're not covering nine numbers. Twenty-five. Red. Place your bets, please. We'll go again. If twenty-five comes, I swear to God, this is rigged. Twenty-three. Red. There you go. You Finally. Win. Place Come your bets, on. please. <laughs> Three. Red. There you go. You We're up. Place your Come bets, on. Please. You took a big ass hit. Sixteen. Red. There you go. You We're win. at seven fifty. Let's your go bets, again. <clears throat> and you know what? Let's see if it lets us. Just gonna double up here. Oh, good. Red 
We're at 30. 30. There Red. you go. You We're win. back at 900. Your bets, please. You see what I'm talking about? I'm not covering 3699 nine numbers. 19. Now, you want to be Red. smart about it? Place and the way bets, I please. would do it, now we're up, we're back up 5% on our bankroll. All right, so I just made 50 bucks right in front of you. Now, you want to be smart about it, you wait until a number comes out. You know what I'm saying, on this section. So let's say, like, I'm, I read better, right? Now, you wait for the ball to land on the trigger sections, you know what I'm saying? Either 10 consecutively, two times in a row. Either 12 or... 26 or 27 25 your odds and probability of hitting increases by a significant margin by a crazy margin all right so i made five percent on my bankroll i just made 50 bucks um we catched a bad trend and as a, as you guys can see this is why it's important for you guys to gamble with a high enough bankroll so you can ride out the uh, losing waves so the paroli money management system after a win, we return back to base unit. And if we return back to base unit, we're going we're gonna to scale down pretty much. We return back to base unit, you know. One, two, three. This allows us to go for longer, for more. In terms of our, uh, you know, work density. One, two. And then we're going to spin. See, I'm risking 25 bucks to make $5. 16. There Red, you go. You win. See? Place Bam. Bets, 55. Please. Now, I think they're going to cap us out. One, two, three. Yeah, they're going to cap us out. The reason why tables, uh, you know, they pull table limits on you is because they want to counteract against Morgan Dale strategy. At the end of the day, casinos are here to make money. They make money with, you know, when the gambler loses money. However, if you're smart, take your win and, you know, leave, then uh, you're in for a, you know, profitable day.